Is there anything I don't really need on the go? I guess I don't need a heat pack on the go. So we'll get the heat pack out and put the Pepsi in. Just so I've got some Pepsi and food on the go in case I start bleeding. Just saves a bit of blood because you can actually, you do lose quite a lot of blood when you start um, running out of food and meat. Food and meat, food and drink. There we go. Alright, so this is south, southeast-ish. I don't know where the hell I am. I don't know how I've done this. I know exactly where I was. I was at the air... Wait, wait, the airfield's up here. And then... Maybe I'm up here. Me okay, let's just go south. Whatever. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find some way somewhere if I go south. I mean, I've completely passed that village. I know I don't want to go in the village, but I mean, I've completely avoided it. Which I don't think was quite what I desired to do. Somewhere on my right. Somewhere over there. Can't see it from here, though. And I did also miss a tent. Which is a bit annoying. I've seen it. I don't know how I didn't notice it. I looked directly at the tent. Like, well, walking. And I didn't even react to it. Like, I was so dumb. Tents, you know, we've got a chance to have some awesome stuff in it. It's where um, people will store their stuff. They stay on the server, even if the server resets. I think I already said this. And we can store up to 50 things, which is really awesome. So people will store, like, all their guns. All their spare guns and that kind of stuff. And night vision goggles. Just really nice stuff in there. I don't even know where to get night vision goggles from. I think you can get them from uh, Story Suborbo. It's even called Story Suborbo. I don't know what the hell. Story Suborbo. Okay. So I've kind of got a pronunciation right. Except I called it Story Suborbo instead of Starry. Makes a lot more sense now. Okay. But I mean, if anyone wants to, you know, help me. Who's like MLG Pro. You've got to have a good mic, folks. So I get angry with people who don't have good mics. Um, I don't know. Near me or something, and uh, you have to, obviously you have to be near me. If I'm in a solo series like this, I guess that's acceptable. But obviously, if I'm if I'm with with Lamondo, I can't really accept people. But if you're an MLG Pro and stuff, uh, maybe if you got a YouTube channel, then that might increase your chances with some MLG videos of DZ. And I could play with you or something. There's a barn right there. So let's see. So where is a barn just south of Penisland? So if there's a barn's like really long. So I mean, I don't know. I still check the barn out. Sometimes there's some zombies near it, but I don't know. Normally it's got some decent shit in it. Like, uh, oh, there's a zombie right there. A zombie on top of the roof. Silly zombies. I think I'm going to die in this series from getting shot by from a random place, by the way, before anything happens. That seems to be the way to die in DZ. You just get shot by someone you don't even see. And that's the end, unfortunately. But I'm going to be cautious when I go around Story Sub I'm going to go. I mean, if I don't die in Story Sub I don't know what to do. I might have to stop again and do go on a different server some other time and try and try to die, basically. I, I don't know. It's just... I want to die. I, I mean, I don't want to die. I already said this, but... I kind of want to die. So there's some wood over there, I think. There's an axe, some wood over there. Absolutely nothing. I think that's wood, isn't it? Yeah, it's wood. So there's wood... Axe... Oh god. Wood. So that, that was a great adventure. Let's avoid the zombies, so I don't like to bleed. I've got a lot of bandages. I've got maybe six or five, one of the two. Um, so I'm good with bandages, but I'd still rather not obviously bleed. My water seems already quite low, but like I said, I've got a lot of water, so that's not really too much of a problem. And I'm not going to use it until um, it starts flashing, at least, because there's no side effects or anything like that kind of like there is with... Um, well, no. No, that, you can't actually do that. It, it's not like... Any of the things in the bottom right ever do anything unless for flashing, if you know what I mean. So if like red, it's not like it's gonna make you slower or anything like that. It's just gonna mean um you know you know you need to fill it up more urgently, kind of thing. And when you do log on you do need to eat and drink and everything. So if you log off without something to eat, <laughs> it's not a good idea. I've kind of done that before, but yeah. Alright. Still don't know where I am though. If I had a CPS right now, that'd be swell. Don't know how I can even lose where I am. Okay, so that is the village over there, I believe. Let's see, so there should be a road over here. I think so. Well, that's a decent sized village right there. And I am on the... The east side of it. Yeah, I'm on the east side of it. That's what I was. So I'm over here, I think. So I'm quite close to Starry Sub So if I just go continue down here and I should find a main road. And then hopefully I should be able to just go towards um Star Starry Sub That's an name of it. 
And like I said, I'm going to be really cautious there. Kind of like how I was with airfield. It resulted me not dying, so I'm going to be cautious once again. You know, just scout out the place with binoculars. I'm convinced there's going to be someone there. I mean, there's only... Like I said, let's count them in fact, so... Un, de, oh shit. De, trois, quatre, cinq. Okay, I don't know any further. I don't know French. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. So there's exactly 20 people on the server. I mean, that's not exactly a normal server. Normal servers are kind of average about 35. I might not even find someone. I might just swap servers and not die, but see if I can go murder some people. I could go back to Cherno and just go crazy and just camp somewhere like a bitch. But that's a bitchy move. I'm not a bitch. I need food. That's what I need. I love food. Oh, here we go. Here's the main road. So I think I am indeed just over here. So if I continue down this road, which should be... Yeah, okay. I think I've got where I am now, which is good. I thought I was... I think I kind of knew where I was the entire time. I just wasn't sure about it. Why the hell is there a bush on the road? No, there isn't. Okay. What the hell is that over there? Is that... No, it must be Starry Sub or one of the buildings over there. But I mean, I can't wait for the day when I'm just walking along the road and all of a sudden... Helicopter, a truck, an ATV, a bicycle, anything. Come on. I want anything. Just to come past me. I've only ever seen a helicopter once. And I saw it for about five seconds. And that was in series three, I think it was. I don't know why I haven't seen a helicopter since then. It's a bit weird. Because I see videos all the time of people like getting bombed by jets and shit. There's not actually jets in the game, I don't think. I think it's people who cheat them in. But I mean, I haven't seen a cheater, is what I'm saying. I play this game quite a lot. Alright, so that didn't take too long to get into. The main thing to note about the city is that this kind of place is shit and you want to just skip it and go over here. So I'm going to go head up the hill and go down the hill on the other side so I can get straight towards the army kind of area because there's not really anything else. I think there might be a corner. No, I don't think there is. I think there's only a few corner shops in the game. There's one in here. There's one in here. There's one in here. And there's two in here. I think that's it. I don't think there's actually any other corner shops. Otherwise I would be tempted to loot it somewhat. Of course I'll take the skin as well, but you know what skins do? They spawn you in the ocean because that makes sense. Right. I don't even know if this truly is where I am. I see a very big building over there. I've never been a story so ball, by the way, if anyone's wondering. Even off camera. So I don't... I've seen a video of it because... Because I was curious as to, you know, the kind of structure of what exactly it is and stuff so I could kind of have an idea of what exactly I'm going into and you can see the church over there which is uh, that over there so I think I am in the right place and that's, is that, no that's a corner shop over there huh okay so I, I was completely wrong it's actually a corner shop right there but I'm probably not going to go to it to be honest I don't really see the point there seems to be an awful lot of zombies in here which kind of you know the way zombies work is they only spawn where the players are I mean, it's not exactly noticeable, but when the zombies very far in the city, it kind of tells you something. And also, the doors of the corner shop are open. I'm not sure if they're open by default. I don't think they are. So someone must have been here at one point. But that doesn't necessarily mean it was, you know... It was um, any time near today. I'd be so scared if I'd have seen one of those doors open. Oh, I've seen someone through a crack of one of those doors. Fortunately, it's not going to happen. It's not one in the corner shop. Okay, I mean, that's not really a surprise to me. The main place which people are going to be, if ever come to Story Sub and have knowledge of how exactly the city works, is the military camp. There's no reason, really, to go to anywhere else. This military camp is where it is at. All the swag there is. What the hell is that massive ball? Hmm, this place is rather weird. Okay. Let's see if we can get inside here. I don't think we can, but... Okay, there is the camp which I was talking about. So let's get prone and see what we can see. I mean, I doubt there's going to be anyone... No, I kind of think there is going to be someone there, but... At the same time, I don't. 
because of how many people there is on the server. Right, so these zombies are here naturally. This does not mean that there's someone here. Just so everyone knows. Hmm. It seems pretty clear. I think I'll just wait about 20 seconds and see if anyone comes out with tents first. Before I do make my move. Because of course if someone's in one of the tents. They're going to hear me and they're going to just camp in one of the tents and murder me. So I need to make sure there's no one there before I do move in. I'm trying to do things a bit more logical than I used to. Because that's always good. And... Huh. Okay, um... I mean, it's not suicide, but I'm actually going to go swap servers. Because I think this is kind of giving me an unfair advantage. There's not many people on the server. So I'm going to go ahead and join a high population server. Because I know you guys love action and shit, so... Um, it's not cheating whatsoever, I wouldn't say. I'm just going to swap a server and see if I can... I mean, if it's no one on a popular server, I'll just deal with it and move on with my life. But, yeah, I'll be right back when I'm on a more popular server. Because, like I said, I do think this is a bit unfair, to be honest. So, I'll be right back when I'm on that server. Don't know which one it is, but I'll be on it. Okay, so I'm loading for a new server now. Uh, I don't know why the hell I've had to edit out so much stuff in the series. I think it just hasn't went smoothly. I'd rather... I don't know, normally we have like one sitting, me and Lamondo, and we just end up dying or something stupid, but nothing wants to kill me. I don't know why. It's kind of nice, but at the same time, it's a bit worrying. It's just not right. But this server has like 40 people on it or something, so I I'm not seeking death. I'm seeking action. If I kill someone or befriend someone, you know, that's better than just dying to someone. Although, either could happen. Okay, so we're here. And see, I'm on day five, apparently. It's just got, oh, it does have a side channel, which is a bit shitty, but ah, well. That does kind of mean direct chat might not work. I don't know if it come hand in hand. But let's see if we can find anything in the camp. Hmm. Again, it looks like a rather similar site. Nothing at all. Um. Let's ask if anyone's near anyone at. Just a curious question. I mean, if any other northwest airfield, then it could be near here. Uh, there's nothing here. I think I'm safe to go in. You can see right here, it's got like 40 people or so on, so. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to... I don't know, it looks safe enough. Let's check the corner shop as well, quickly. Is that someone? Else? No, that's a zombie, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Pretty sure. Yep. There's a zombie over there with some stuff inside the corner shop. No one in there, as far as I can see. Zombie. Binoculars are pretty good. I've kind of underused them. It's not a very good idea to <laughs> advertise where exactly you are, but whatever, I'll go for it. Right, this does have third. No, it does not third person. What the shit? That's odd. Huh, oh, okay, so. It doesn't have crosshairs either. Guess I'll just deal with it then. Woo, grenade lol. We'll get to read this cheap. But chat again. I love chat. It's great. Alright, let's move down and see what we can find inside the camps. Hopefully I should be able to find some good stuff. Without dying. I don't want to die. Not quite yet. No, I do want to die. No, I, I don't want I don't want no. Should probably keep the trees to be honest. I mean, I'm in a rather vulnerable spot if someone comes from the south side of uh, Starry Subble. I think after this I've got two choices. I can either go back up to the airfield, which is kind of the less... I don't think I really want to do that. I think I want to go check for the bike. A bike would be pretty goddamn cool. Just riding around on my bicycle all day, every day. Hmm. I just thought I saw someone there, but it doesn't look like I did. Uh, there's not too many zombies over here, though, which is nice, I guess. I think I'm going to die here. I don't know where I'm going to die from, but I genuinely think I'm going to die. And I, I'm, I'm pretty good at these whole spidey sense things. I get my spidey senses at appropriate times in most cases. Alright, let's see. So I've been hyping up these tents the entire time. So let's see what's held inside these tents. Why are we binoculars? Truly amazing. Those are the standard straight up binoculars. I mean, they're not too bad. Binoculars aren't... Too rare, but they're still not exactly common. God, I'm getting, I'm shitting myself over every single footstep I hear. 